The word is debak there as well. And what it means is it's to stick like glue. So I just thought I'd tell you, you're going to see this word from time to time. And if you see the word debak, D-A-B-A-K, it's, it's like sticking like glue. You just can't get the two apart. And so this guy probably did not, it says he violated her and, you know, he probably saw her, Lusted. you know, well, I, he lusted like anybody would. I mean, that's, that's usually the first thing that happens in our minds, but he really did love this girl. I mean, this is, I, I, I'm not saying that what he did was right, but my guess is that it was mutual. Probably. He probably, oh, you know, they were probably out in the field and just, and, you know, they just didn't follow the proper procedures, in other words. You're supposed to get married and then do this. And, you know, but, you know, they're not, they're just, you know, two young people and they, I, and so I don't want to make a, a strong argument either way on this, but my guess is that it was probably a mutual thing, is that he saw her and was like, oh, you know, and he probably wooed her and she was like, oh, you know, and whatever. But, they, it wasn't like somebody that would, if you read it and you think about it, somebody that would go out and intentionally violate a woman that had no heart for her wouldn't have this, this debacle, this feeling for her. It's something that he is doing, and then he's, I'm done with it, right? You know what I'm saying? You go rape a girl, you, normally you don't fall in love with the girl you just raped. But there's this strong attachment, and so I have a feeling, this is just me thinking about this, that it was probably a mutual thing. And she may have said, no, no, no. Does it really mean no, no, no? I mean, what is it? Um, it well, well there, there's, the old, there's the old saying, um, don't, stop, don't, stop, don't, stop. Don't stop, right? Okay, I'm not trying to say that's the way it was, but there is that you you got to put up a wall, but not not you know. She probably thought he was great too. That's all I'm saying. I know I went into a little too much detail there, but 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 uh, I, I just the way that I that word there and the way that this reads, I kind of my heart goes out to the poor guy, even though he didn't follow the proper procedures, right? Everybody makes mistakes. I can tell. Charlie Garrett has made enough mistakes in my life where I would rather have seen this guy saved than to see what happened to him. But anyway, yeah. all right. So, spoke kindly to the young woman. So, Shechem, go ahead, please. Uh, what was I, six? I, I don't know. Hell mm -hmm. oh, yes, six. And Shechem's uh, father, Hamor, went out to talk with Jacob. Now, Jacob's sons had come in from the fields as soon as they heard what had happened. They were filled with grief and fury because Shechem had done a disgraceful thing, um, is, thing in Israel by lying with Jacob's daughter, a thing that should not be done. Okay, they're obviously a strong clan. They have the morality. They probably have all of the instruction that they need as far as marrying people, doing things in the proper order, and they were really upset about it. And, you know, this is no different. Regardless of whether she agreed to it or not, if somebody did that to my daughter and she was 16 years old, or she's probably young, what, 14, somewhere around there, if somebody did that and they had, she had two older brothers, they would be severely ticked off about it too. It doesn't matter. Now, nowadays that's changing where people think everything is okay. But you know what I'm saying is the generation, at least that we grew up in, yeah. it, it, it's just people get upset about these things. And, you know, Rightfully so. Well, yeah, you, you would think so, but I don't even know why we have laws anymore. It, That's it, not see, true. Well, I got to tell you, you know, we, we what happened in New York a, 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 a day or two ago, and it's like they approved, they approved that, and they approved this, and they approved this, but they say you can't sleep with a fourteen-year-old. Which one is worse? Exactly. I, I'm not talking about any particular thing, but the things that exactly. they do allow, whatever it is. I, I just don't understand the entire thought process and. No offense, if you're a Democrat, I, you know, I hate to keep beating it up, but I don't understand the thought process of the laws that are passed in this country by the left. I cannot. I, I, I can't. I try to think, what are they thinking? That's and, because they have traded what is right. They have said what is right is right. Right, but what I'm saying is they still hold to things like the 14-year-old, the you know, there somebody marries... No logic. That's there what I'm saying. There, there's no logic, and I try to think You're where... You're wasting your time. I, there, you don't want to understand. No, no, I don't, but I'd like to know where does that idea come from, that they can they say this is wrong, but... Well, yeah, oh, oh, unbelievable. Just, 
Terrible. Terrible. I just, I, I cannot follow the logic. Uh, anyway, and this is right here. Okay, go ahead. That's what right. does not it doesn't votes. require logic. Right. No. no. That's, a good point. Yeah. Right. That's the whole so, thing. There's the bottom so line. With the, uh, with the votes. Gay their votes. Well, not just gay agenda, the uh, abortion uh, agenda. Uh, all of these. Yeah. I, I, I'm saying any one of them. It doesn't matter what issue you pick out. It is exactly the opposite of what is morally they right. Always. Yeah. They have sold yeah. their souls. Got to tell you this. Got to tell you this. A couple of weeks ago, I called my brother, the ultra liberal, and I was telling him what happened in Wisconsin during the Special Olympics, where 30 or 40 mem uh, union members from the teachers' union, when the, uh, the governor of Wisconsin was presenting medals to the handicapped kids. Walker special. Yeah, and they walked by, these 30 members from the school union, walked by dressed as zombies with their tongues yeah. hanging out, yeah. dragging their feet, making fun of them. Yes. I told this to my brother, he called me a liar. It was on TV. And I said, uh, <laughs> On Fox, said, probably wasn't on anything else. Yeah. yeah. So I, True. I, he said, where did you hear that? And I said, everywhere, every time you talk to me, Ernie, you ask me, where do I hear this? And I'm telling you, fuck, but you won't listen to it. Right. You've been watching NBC for 40, 32, 40 years, you say, and you ain't changed it. Yeah. Fine. And he says... Ignorance is bliss. Uh, so I said, you, you call me a liar. He said, well, the unions don't do that. I said, my wife said, uh, jail ministry, when she comes home tonight, first thing I'm going to ask her to do is go to the newspapers in Find Wisconsin. That. Pull that out, and I'll have it in the mail for you tomorrow. And I said, and then you're going to owe me an apology. That's right. And so I mailed it to him. He called me Wednesday night. Yeah, it took a while. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how long it took him to think this stuff, but I think his wife does this thinking to her for she's worse than he is. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyways, <laughs> he says, I, I got your case. letter, but before I tell you anything about it, I'm going to tell you right now, you're my younger brother and I love you, and you're, you're also my good friend. He said, I don't want you ever to tell me about Democrats again. I don't want to hear false. So he'd, he'd, he'd rather just be ignorant right. that I don't understand that. I, I, I can't follow that. And so because I, it's that mirror. It's like holding the Bible up and looking at it and saying, I see how utterly depraved I am as a human being, and I don't want to face that. And they close the Bible, and they never go back to it. Instead of saying, you know, I could learn something about my Pride. own nature Pride. in this Pride. book. Right. Anyway, I couldn't get him to say it. No, and I kept he can't asking. say it. <laughs> and he said, okay, what you want me to say, the unions were wrong. They should have all been put in jail. He says... And that's it. But if that's one that's person that. did that at a Sarah and Palin, Palin oh, thing, it would be yes. the exact opposite. Yeah, Every so single that. news service in America would be all over him. Okay. It, it would be... I so anyways, I said, uh, you forgot the big thing. Yeah, that's right, he did. He says, what's that? I said, you called me a liar. He said, yes, I did, and I apologize to you. Oh, <laughs> unreal. <laughs> unreal. But don't tell get a me. book by Ann Coulter. It's called Demonic. Oh, yeah. Can you read that already? I've got it. I'm just starting it. But oh, okay. I can see it's yeah. going to answer some of the questions. Oh, I bet. All right. Love you. See you later. Bye -bye. Uh, uh, okay, please. We'll go on from there. Eight. But Hamar said to them, My son Shechem has his heart set on your daughter. Please give her to him as his wife. Intermarry with us. Give us your uh, daughters. Bad idea. Take your daughters for yourselves. You can settle among us. The land is open to you. Live in it, trade in it, and acquire property in it. Then Shechem said to Dinah's father and brothers, let me find favor in your eyes, and I will give you whatever you ask. Make the price for the bride and the gift I am to bring as great as you like, and I'll pay whatever you ask me. Only give me the girl as my wife. So you, you see, the whole account tells me that he really, 
Mm-hmm. You know, he, he had a big affection. He wants to pay, a, you know, a big bride price. He really wants this girl. It's, he just went the wrong way. And I would bet that if he had followed the proper procedures, nothing would have happened. I bet you they probably would have said, yeah, you can marry it. But things but went out of order. God forbid. No, not yet. Not yet? No, that's, that's okay. under the law. That's not yet. Okay. You know, now, in the case of Jacob, in the case of, um, what's his name, Isaac, he said, go get a son from the, the people, you know, not my people. And they weren't pleased with Esau's choice of wives. But in this case, there's nothing in the Bible that says that it's forbidden. It just, you know, but what happened here, they probably, and she's just the daughter anyway, no offense, but, you know, they probably would have said, yeah, you know. So I, I imagine if things were done in the right order, we wouldn't have had this problem. But we did, and so now we're going to come up to the consequences of it. Oh, you're going to see how upset in a second. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because their sister Dinah had been defiled, Jacob's sons replied deceitfully, deceitfully as they spoke to Shechem and his father Hamor. Okay, deceitfully. We're going through the same thing they learned from dad. From dad. He's a supplanter or a heel grabber, and they're learning that from him. Okay, go ahead. They said to them, we can't do such a thing. We can't give our sister to a man who is not circumcised. That would be a disgrace to us. We will give our consent to you in one condition, on one condition only, that you become like us by circumcising all your men. Then we will give you our daughters and take your daughters for ourselves. We'll settle among you and become one people with you. But if you will not agree to be circumcised, we'll will take our sister and go. Their proposal seemed good to Hamor and his son Shechem, the young man who was the most honored of all his father's household, lost no time in doing what they said because he was delighted with Jacob's daughter. So Hamor and his son Shechem went to the gate of their city to speak to their fellow townsmen. Okay, they went to the gate of the city. Once again, the gate is where business is conducted. Yeah. It's like going to the courthouse nowadays. Mm-hmm. They've given the proposal, if you will be circumcised and become like us, then we will allow this, okay? And if you don't, we're picking up our stuff and we're bailing out of here, okay? So they go to the gate of the city, Shechem and uh, Hamor, and here's what they do. Go ahead. These men are friendly towards us, they said. Let them live in our land and trade in it. The land has plenty of room for them. We can marry the daughters, and they can marry ours. But the men will consent to live with us as one people only, on the condition that our males be circumcised, as they themselves are. Now, this is not as unusual as we might be led to believe. Apparently, they circumcised in Egypt. They circumcised around this area as well. Oh. Different, different clans of people did this. I, read, I can't remember where I read this. But apparently, circumcision was something that people practiced. In the case of Abraham, it was a covenant, and they had to do it. Other people, I think it was a cultural thing, kind of like you know, getting tattoos or earrings or whatever. It was just something they did. I don't know, but apparently other groups of people did circumcise. In the case of the, the, the Jews, though, it is something that is mandated on the eighth day. Okay. Now, having said that, does anybody remember or does anybody know what San Francisco is working on in their ballot process right now? Oh, yes. They're trying to outlaw. Outlaw so circumcision. There's, there's a group of people that have yeah. been for years trying to get this on the ballot. And they have finally got it where it is on the ballot. Now, whether it's approved or not, we don't know. But they have said that anybody... Well, they just don't like it. They, they think it's mutilating a person. And, you know, yeah, and it, they, they, they don't... It, it's... They associate it with the Jews. With the Jews, sure, but Christians so do it too. Deep down, it's, that's the motivation. That's, that is. Deep down, that's the motivation. But they're, they, they're saying that it, it mutilates people. It's, it's not right because the children don't have any um, choice. Uh, choice in the matter. And they said any, oh, yeah. the law is being yes. written, the law is being written that nobody under 18 can have circumcision without facing uh, uh, yeah. jail, okay? That, yeah. That's the way the law is, is being proposed in this yeah. ballot. What is the problem with that? It's against religion. Well, it's against religion, which is violation of religion. But, but, it violates the rights of the Well, they're saying that the child hasn't been given its rights. 